Yes, he has autism, but he also has savant syndrome. Genius level skills in several areas. He has almost perfect recall. He has spatial intelligence and he sees things and analyzes things in ways that, that are just remarkable, in ways that we can't even begin to understand. Those are assets, undeniable assets for any doctor, particularly a surgeon. Primary sclerosing cholangitis, liver failure, secondary to primary biliary cirrhosis. Yeah, Sean, we can add a few cancers to that list as well. It's a long and ugly one. Find another way to figure out what it is. Do an MRI. No, we couldn't. Someone may ask, I've heard of people who sustain head injuries, head seizures, struck by lightning or electrocuted, develop abilities they never possessed before. Like uh, someone becomes uh, good at solving mathematical problems. Someone becomes efficient at playing a piano. Someone develops an art in music. Does it mean that uh, the injuries help them unlock uh, parts of the brain they had no access to or they were, that had not been exploited before? That's a good question. Why do people become sudden geniuses after head injuries? There is mounting evidence that uh, brain damage can unlock creative talents. What can this teach us about how sudden geniuses are made? It is possible that uh, these people underwent sudden seven syndrome in which exponential abilities emerge after brain injury or a disease. But this is rare. There are about 25 cases reported on this planet. A good example is uh, Tony Chikoria, an orthopedic surgeon who was struck by lightning in New York in the year 1994. It went straight through his head, leaving him with irresistible desire to play a piano. To begin with, he used to play other people's music. But soon he started uh, writing down the melodies that were constantly running through his head. Right now he's a pianist, composer, as well as uh, a practicing orthopedic surgeon. Have an exposure to exposure to piano at age seven when my mother insisted that I take piano lessons at age seven and I hated it so I never would comply and eventually she gave up and so I really didn't know anything about piano or classical piano to to fill a thimble <clears throat> but suddenly I, I had this incredible desire to hear it and it was so strong that I was moved to drive all the way to Albany an hour away to get a CD of classical piano music. And the, the CD just kind of jumped off the shelf into my hands and it was Vladimir Ashkenazi playing his favorite Chopin. And I was so smitten with the music, I, I couldn't stop listening to it. I made my family listen to it. I made everybody at work listen to it. It played all the time. So how does this happen? According to the article I read, entitled The Mystery of How Sudden Geniuses Are Made, the article said that uh, this may, might have uh, two leading ideas. First, when you're bashed on the head, the effects are similar to those of uh, a lysergic acid, dithylamine, which is a hallucinogenic drug. It belongs to a class of drugs called uh, psychedelics. These drugs are thought to enhance creativity by increasing the levels of uh, serotonin, which is the feel-good hormone. This leads to synesthesia whereby more than one region of the brain is uh, simultaneously activated and the senses that were separated become linked. When the brain becomes injured, the dead and dying cells leak serotonin into the surrounding tissues. This encourages new connections just like in uh, psychedelic drugs. Second theory is based on the functions of the right and uh, the left hemispheres of the brain. According to a Nobel Prize winning research, these two hemispheres specialize in different tasks whereby you find that the right hemisphere is home for creativity and the left hemisphere 
it's a center for logic and language. But the left side is something of a bully. It tends to be the dominant side of the brain. It tends to suppress very marginal type of thinking, highly creative thinking, because it's beneficial for our decision-making abilities and the abilities to function in normal life. Theory states that uh, if the left side is damaged, then the right side is left to flourish. What about mainstream geniuses? Let's consider autism. It has been estimated that a 1 in 10 people with autism have servant syndrome and this mounting evidence that this is associated with enhanced creativity. Though hard to prove it has been speculated that intellectual giants such as Einstein, Darwin, Mozart, Michelangelo, Newton were on the spectrum. Other theories suggest that autism arises as a result of abnormal levels of serotonin in the left hemisphere during childhood. This prevents the region from developing normally allowing the right hemisphere to become more active. Many people with servant syndrome develop symptoms of autism, including social problems, all-consuming interest, and obsessive-compulsive disorder. 